Hello everybody, welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. If you haven't subscribed, do that. Like the channel, leave me a comment. To get in on the giveaways, I'm going to do some giveaways right after this video, so stay tuned after for that. We got a jumpstart box to do for M. Hernandez. He's a member of my Facebook group, and we've been uh, doing some live streams in there. And we've had a ton of people sponsoring packs, and we started doing this jumpstart, and he realized there was a unicorn pack in it. So... He said he has to get a unicorn pack for his wife. And I said, all right. So we tried. He'd sponsor, you know, a couple packs here, a couple packs there. We didn't hit one. So he said, just let me get a whole box. And that works for me because I've not opened a box of Jumpstart on my channel yet. And that's because I've always felt like Jumpstart was meant to be played instead of just cracked. Our first pack is heavily armored. And we actually started cracking some last night, or the night before, and last night. And we got some really good stuff out of it. We had one box that had three tiny bones in it. Cathar's Crusade. And some of these little decks, they have a crazy value to them. It's just really unbelievable. And you always have to watch out for the first basic land. Because it's always a special artwork. Except in the one that's rainbow. The, uh, what is it? The, the special land in that one's different. If we get it, I'll remember. If not, we want angels. That one will be cool. Let's see who we get out of this one. Bane Slayer. This card's not very valuable, but when this thing was M10, M11 when it was released, this thing absolutely ruled standard. It's such a good card for five mana. You get a 5-5 five, five flyer, first strike, lifelink, and pro from Demons and Dragons. I think at the time it was so good because there was a uh, a big dragon, like Thundermaw, Hellkite, or something along those lines. Angel Plains. That's really pretty. And a Thundermaw, Hellkite may be the wrong one, but it's something, something like that. There's a dragon that was wrecking everybody's face, and she was kind of the foil to it. Plus, she's a just all-around well-costed creature for her stats. Feathered Friends. I don't think this one is one of the good ones. I don't even know what the rares that are possible out of this one. Okay, we, another Angel of the Dire Hour. Interesting. Then we have the Avon Gaggle Master. What a name. Swift Response. Healer Hawks. We have a Plains. With a couple of birds on it. So is anybody tired of Commander Legends yet? The prices tanked on those last week. Um, but I don't know if it was the Black Friday sales or the set was just so popular that all the singles started to get bought and you couldn't get them anywhere. So over the weekend, the prices of most of those singles have spiked again. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. Ogre, Slumlord, Languish. So I'm definitely not tired of Commander Legends. It's such a good set. There's so many good cards. There's so much value in it that it's just, it's incredible. They hit they hit a home run with this one. And a lot of the people, they were, you know, they talked down about the Jeweled Lotus, and it did. The price went down considerably, but it's bounced back quite a bit now. I think there's more people that wanted it than let on. And I think now people are uh, grabbing them up and it's actually pushed the price up again. They're, uh, oh, Ram this is the one that had the special land in it. Termorphic Expanse, that's the one. So just a pack Jeweled Lotus non-foil. I see them going for $70 easy currently. Um, and they're getting bought up quickly. Maelstrom Archangel, Chamber Sentry, Mirrodin's Core. There it is. That's the special artwork because the planes and whatnot in here are, or excuse me, the forest are regular M21. So very cool pack. Still haven't hit any of the big ones. We want Bruvac, we want Tiny Bones, we want Allosaur, Shepherd, we want a meal. We want Oracle of Moldiah. So much good cards. Oh, Crater Hoof Behemoth. Can't forget about that guy. We opened one of those out of original Avacyn Restored last night on the live stream. Garouk. Okay. Cool Garouk pack here. We got Garouk and his Harbinger. And then I wonder, I bet he's just got a regular M21 land. 
oh, it's a it's a showcase. Makes total sense. Seeing how that was just an M21 pack. So we're almost all the way through the first stack. Heavily armored again. No big hits quite yet. And like I said, these are meant to be played. Is it what do, what do you think about the, the gameplay? You take two of these, shuffle them together, and then play it. I think it's a really good idea. We used to do something similar called Pack War, where we just buy a pack, shuffle in three of each basic land, and then play it. Um, it was really fun to do. And there was a lot of lot more variance to it doing it that way. But it was only, you know, 15 cards and 15 lands, so. There was only so much you could do with it, but it's a ton of fun to play. And if you just crack, if you just want to crack packs, you get a little more value out of it doing it that way than you do just opening the pack for singles. Wow, that one's got a pretty, pretty big ding on the back. That's good thing it's just a basic land. Well read. Ooh, Ristic Study. That's the good one. That's the gas we're looking for. Talarian Kraken. I completely forgot you could get a Ristic study out of here. Book Island. So this is originally a common out of Prophecy, and it still holds a ton of value. This doesn't make sense to me. Rainbow again. So will it have the Archangel? We will see. It does. Double tap on the rainbow Archangel and the fancy Terramorphic Expanse. So if you need that Archangel, that's that's good. But we're we're really we're totally completely just looking for the unicorn pack. So I've got my fingers crossed that there's one in here. Ooh, Liliana. So this will be just an M21 pack. So we should have a Lily. Uh, Lily Standard Bear and a Showcase Swamp, right? There's Lily. Beautiful Lily. Always happy to see her. Lily Standard Bear, like I predicted. And let's see if we just have the Showcase Purple Swamp. And there it is, the Purple Swamp. So, I do know what I'm doing sometimes. Not often, but every now and then, you will catch me knowing what I'm doing. Spell casting? Come on, where are the big packs? Charmbreaker Devils? Dual Caster Mage? I always, I always get disappointed when I open a Dual Caster Mage. I feel like he was in Double Masters and he's been in a couple other things. And Let me go back, I went too far. There's our special mountain. And he's just not, not valuable. And it always makes me sad to not get a valuable rare. Ooh, Mr. T. This is the first box I've opened that's had this many Planeswalkers in it. So we're going to have a Teferi, Master of Time. Okay, good hit. Then we have the Angel's Insight. And we'll have the Showcase Blue Land. Blue Land. Why can't I just say Island? What are we doing here? One minute I know what's going on. The next... I don't even know what to call the cards. Above the Clouds. I don't know if I've opened this one yet either. Here we go. Let's see who we get. The Gale Force. Okay. Not. I've never opened this one. I've opened quite a bit of Jumpstart too. Nice land there. The only thing that would have made those lands better if they would have uh, full arted them. That would have been... Extra special. All right, let's see. Plus one. Okay, there can be good stuff in here, right? Is this one that has Oracle or Branching Evolution? Which one is this? Or do we just get hosed? Oh, there we go. Branching Evolution. It's like a $20 card by itself. And then you get the really weird looking forest that everything's in the middle and it has the branches coming out of it. There it is. So good pack there. Always nice to get $20 bills in your packs. But we need the unicorn. And we got tree hugging. So what will our rare or mythic be in tree hugging? I don't remember. And these things are double wrapped. 
Primordial Sage, and a Burlfist Oak. All right, that's this one doesn't make me very happy. Let's see if the forest is at least cool. Oh, it's just tree folk. Okay. All right, this is the last pack of the second stack. Goblins, not at least they, the the way they're double wrapped drives me crazy. Why do you gotta double wrap it? Like they're going out with a, you know, spend the night with somebody they shouldn't. Crinko mob boss, goblin commando. There's our goblin mountain. So we got some uh, we got some work to do here if we're gonna get the unicorn pack. Let's see lands okay this is a good pack if it has who i think is in it i think this one has the oracle so that it, it does good pack fantastic and a cultivate spore mound thriving grove and a beautiful rainforest is what i would call that one We've not hit many of the mythics. We hit all the planeswalkers. Cats? So I'm not have a lot of hope for this one. We're just gonna, I think we're gonna have this guy. Feline Sovereign. Enlarge. Pride Malkin. Pouncing Cheetah. And that's pretty, I, I like this forest a lot. Kind of reminds me of Natural Order a little bit. Just kind of like update. I can feel like if they reprinted Natural Order, they could use this for the art. Just saying. Really looking for that unicorn, but we got predatory. This has been the Planeswalker slash green box. The Dire Hunt. Really cool artwork. Legendary creature, human warrior. The wolf, I feel like, is the, the focus of that card. Fully expect it to be a wolf creature type. And we have some Venus fly traps. Or I guess you'd call those Venus deer traps in this, this situation. Ooh, that's the one you want, Phyrexian. So we can get the black crater and we also get the, the Phyrexian land. Let's see if we get the crater. There it is, Whispering One. And then the swamp is probably, in my opinion, I think when the second, third, fourth, whatever wave of this finally releases, I think when it's all said and done, this could possibly end up being the most valuable card in the set. A swamp with Phyrexian writing on it. That's just my two cents. Above the clouds once again, so we get the the gin. There it is, the gale force, and I think the the island was a, a a very pretty island. We'll see. That was a decent, not too bad. Three packs left. This is getting this is getting hairy. Where is it gonna be? Minions. If this is full of little yellow guys that wear overalls and I'm gonna be upset. Okay, Ghoul Caller Gisa. Innocent Blood. Let's see what the swamp looks like. That's really sick. So Ghoul Caller Gisa. Spooky artwork. Super spooky. Two packs left. Maybe we'll get there, maybe we won't. Feathered Friends, it's a white one, but we don't have a meal. Emil, Emil, Steel Plumed Marshall, and of course we gotta have the Gaggle Master there. And then our planes has a couple nest and trees. We're down to our last pack. And I'm gonna feel really bad about not getting a unicorn. Minions again. What is even going on here? All right. Kells Fight Fixer. And there's our swamp again. 
Well, that's in this video, guys. Please like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment. There's going to be some names after this. I'm going to give some packs away to you. We'll see you next time. All right, we couldn't let him go home without hitting a unicorn, so I went and grabbed another box. And we're going to open this, and maybe we can get him a unicorn out of this one. The rest of the packs, I don't know what I'll do with those. I don't have any jump start for myself, so I may keep it for me. But if we open the unicorn pack, it's definitely going to my boy M. Hernandez. That way, he can get what he wants. So let's get to ripping. First one is plus one. I don't think this is a good one. I may not even unwrap these, to be honest. Let's see. This has got a weird rare. It does Rickshaw and Invigorating Surge. And there's the branching forest. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to open the uh, the packs themselves. I'm going to leave them sealed. Oh well, well this one is Brewvac, so we're gonna we're gonna open this one. I can't make my up up. I can't talk either. I can't make up my mind if I want to open these or not. But that was Brewvac, so that is a very spicy pack. And here is our. Island. Really, really cool. Brewback, that's one of the top hits out of the set. What's next? Predatory. I'm not sure what the rares that you can get in Predatory is. I don't think there's any of the top ones. Let's see what this one is. Reanimated. So that should have a reanimate in it, right? Cats. Does anybody actually play Cat Tribal? Is that a thing? I don't know. Lands. That's going to be an Oracle, right? So far, this has been a pretty decent box. We have a Brewvac and an Oracle. Next up, we have Spellcasting. Don't want to open that one for sure. We hope we get a Tiny Bones, a Unicorn, an Allosaurus Shepherd. Lots of big stuff to hit in here. There's another plus one. So double tap on the plus one so far. Ooh, spooky. Goblins. And the reason I'm not opening these is I'm actually keeping them uh, sealed. Because I actually plan to play with them. Smashing. So far, we're not doing too hot. Started off pretty good, and then it slowed down. We got rogues. Is there something good in rogues? I can't remember either. I don't. I didn't open a ton of this, to be completely honest. This was a weird time for magics because it's. There we go. Here you go, Mr. Hernandez. We hit you a unicorn's pack. I'm gonna send this out to you. Let's go ahead and open it. And make sure a meal is in there. A meal, the blessed. And there he is. And let's check out the planes in here. The planes is absolutely beautiful. So there you go. We got what you're looking for. I did have to dip into the second box, but I didn't want you to go home empty-handed. Thanks for doing this for us. Thanks for being a sponsor. Bye, guys. Let's see if we can get something. We got a Modi, Celebrant of Bounty. This is actually a... Uh...
I think this is probably the second most valuable one. It's been a while since I checked.